Hi there, welcome to VA Consulting Pro and in this video we are going to talk about the new button slicer that has been released in November 2023 updates. In November 2023 updates, Microsoft Power BI team released some of very fantastic features. One of them was this new button slicer. However, my other favorite was Q&A using Copilot and also Copilot feature for Microsoft Power BI. Please do remember that you won't be able to see some of those features as of now in your country or in your region because Microsoft is rolling them out step by step. So you may have to wait till March depends upon where you are living. So without wasting any more time, if you are interested in this video where we are going to talk about the new button slicer, what is it, how you can use it and how it can help you out, please stay tuned with me till the end of this video. If you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell icon for all the latest videos and updates. Now we are going to go over there, this new button slicer. So basically it's a slicer, but for a long time I was awaiting from Microsoft side that they made button slicers something like this. That means whenever you are hovering, it's going to get uh, highlighted or darker and also we can put the images over there. So now there's a lot of new settings are over here and, and this is the icon for this new button slicer. If you would like to know more about it in detail, you can get it from this link. You can directly search on Google November Power BI 2023 updates or I'll provide you this link in the description section. However, enough all the talking. What we are going to do, we are going to do a demo and I always like to do something on my Power BI desktop. I have created one table where I have ID, coffee name, their categories and also you can see that I have their image URLs over here. Now, you have to always keep in mind whenever you are using image URL, then please do note that you have to make their data category as web URL if you are using from the web. Otherwise, image URL also you can use it from here, which is over here. But we are going to use the web URL right now because all the images are coming from the Wikipedia. Now, when you are going to come on your Power BI desktop app over here in the design preview, you would find this button over here. You can see the visual gallery. In this update, you will get some new preview features as well that you can enable through the options and settings. So you have to simply come over here, go to this options and settings button under the options and over here you have to go to the options over here where you will find this preview feature and you can enable. For example, Dex Query View, Summary with Copilot Visual and also Improve Q&A with Copilot. So these are the three main features that I was talking about apart from this new button slicer. Now what we are going to do, we are going to get this new button slicer which is over here so now this is the new slicer button i'm just going to simply click on this and here i'm going to start adding my fields what you can do you can come over here into this data pane click over here and here you have all the different fields that you would like to put in this slicer now what i need basically i need my coffee name and then second field would be my image url but right now I'm not going to put image URL over here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to leave it over here. First, let's format this one. So you can drag and drop. You can make it, you know, longer or bigger or the way you want it. Now you have to click over here and go to the format pane, which is over here. Once you are in this format pane, you would see the slicer settings are over here. The very first is over here is the single select or multi select or you want to click show all or select all so we are not going to do that we are going to keep it just single select that's what i'm going to do now coming to the shape over here you will see right now the shape over here is a rectangle but i don't want rectangle i want to choose this rounded rectangle so this is going to be my new button slicer here you can also choose how you want these rounded corners you want 25 or you want less than that then under this you have layout as well so how you would like to see this one like row and column how many row how many columns so i'm gonna check only with one column and as many as rows as possible over here so now you can see that i'm getting this slider as well over here so i have to scroll it down so let's make it a bit a bit longer and i'm gonna keep it like this for now now going forward you have the overflow as well you want the continuous scroll or paginated you can check it how it's gonna work so now you can see the paginated means you are gonna get one arrow at the bottom of this one however if i'm gonna go with continuous scroll it's gonna come something like this now i want to make it something like this a bit smaller and then i'm gonna 
increase it. So it's totally the way you would like to do that. Now you can also put it vertical or horizontal direction. It's again uh, your own choice, but I'm going to keep it vertical only. There are call out values. So here you have to decide how you would like to appear this button when you are selecting to the different phases like hover, press, select it and by default. That's what you have to do over here. There are labels as well. You can choose the label. You cannot choose the label, but we are not going to go into this one for now. So I'm going to just collapse this layout one. I'm going to go further and I'm going to go with the image one. So there you have to select your image and my image is image URL. So now you can see that my images are appearing over here and it's a bit difficult to, you know, check these images because I really don't want them to appear like that. So what you can do, you can simply click on this fit button. Now they are fit and you can choose them. That totally depends on what is your image and how you would like to put it over here. Since we have used this uh, rounded rectangle, that's why the images are not getting, you know, completely fill over here. So what you can do rather than this uh, shape, you can also change it to this one. Now this is looking much better than what I was looking at previously. And also you can make it to two columns. Then now you can see that it's looking better. All right. So this is now this is still uh, looking good, but you can do much more than that. So what we are going to do, we are going to come over here and we are going to select some of these settings later on. But before that, you can also change the space between the images. So you can select it 5, 3, 2, the way you would like to. And there are certain button settings as well over here that you would like to apply. You want the border or you don't want the border. You want to fill it or not. You want shadow. That's how it's going to appear. Then you want to glow it. It's going to glow over here and the bar also. And the bar also you can customize again. You can be 2 or you can make it 10. Uh, again, that's completely your choice how you would like to do that. So these are all the format settings that you can do over here.